What's up everybody? This is the Asian Video Gamer. Coming to you with another play session of Dark Souls 2, the DLC. The Sunken Crown or something. Um this this DLC is actually quite good and uh actually quite rem uh brings back the difficulty from Dark Souls 1. Uh, up till this point, Dark Souls 2 has been pretty li linear in their level design. And that's causing a lot of people to complain like, oh, this game sucks because of that. But to be honest, Dark Souls 2 has its own really fun uh, aspect to it. More, more like the PvP style. But this DLC really, really brings back that level design aspect of the game this is place is like a maze and if you watch the first five parts already you'll realize like holy crap it's such a big place and I haven't even scratched the surface of this DLC yet the DLC if you buy all three uh, if you get the season pass it's 24 bucks and just this uh, one DLC I think is worth ten dollars for sure. There's a lot of content in here, and a lot of different. I like to say puz puzzle solving, but it's not really puzzle solving. It's more like um, just trying to find the triggers and getting the hints. Because Dark Souls is not a puzzle game, by no means, for sure. Dark Souls is definitely not a puzzle game, and it shouldn't be because it's all. It should be about the combat. That's that's what makes it a Dark Souls game. It's the combat, but they add in like very very small, kind of like triggers here, open doors there, traps here, type of style. It's really really smart design actually. Uh, here, I try to hit this thing thinking that it's going to open the door and stuff like that, but in actuality, that's a shortcut. So, <laughs> I'm just wasting my time trying to hit it. It's like, ah, fuck this. And then I stand here, look around, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. So this is the first time, I think, being in here. No, this is my second time. The first time I just went through and there's a dragon that comes right down and swoops down and tries to hit me. And I think I got this already in the last few parts. But I'm not sure. So for those of you uh, who might not be able to tell, this is post-commentary. Because if I play this game and talk at the same time, I will be so bad because I won't be able to concentrate. These enemies in Dark Souls 2 isn't that hard. You can parry every one of them except that, you know, Dark Souls 2 parry system is really hard to... It's really hard to t make the timing good because that because of that w little delay when you parry it's not instant and if you don't have the monetary scimitar or even if you do and patched you know you, you're not gonna get it through so there's a couple of summons here and there but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna summon people here because you know I want to enjoy this game the way it's meant to be well no I shouldn't say that I should. I want to enjoy this game firsthand, so I don't want any help yet. Uh, once I get through all of them in the first place, then I'll I'll probably summon some help. So I've probably been through here, but I don't know why. Like I already know that I won't be able to hit this guy because he's like a ghost. And apparently, you can kill him with magic, but as you can see, it deals no damage. And this guy's 
fast. So the play the way to kill him is you have to kill that thing he's guarding in the front. That's like his corpse and something. And if you kill that, these guys will die. Well they they won't die. They they become a lot easier. And it's really really cool aspect that you know FromSoft put into this, like they really put this idea out like, you know, this DLC is meant to challenge you in every way possible. I don't know if they planned this beforehand or, you know, they just listened to the player's feedback and immediately started working on this. But this, this DLC actually makes Dark Souls 2 a lot better. Like, holy crap, like when I was going through this, I, I was getting chills around like everywhere like the enemies in Dark Souls 2 like is very linear but in this place is like holy crap there's traps here did I say there's traps yeah you're gonna see a lot of traps there the atmosphere I mean sure it's not as scary as Demon Souls but you know when you deal when you see an enemy like this like you're like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, I can't kill this guy. You just feel that hopelessness that you are missing from the vanilla Dark Souls 2. Vanilla Dark Souls 2, all you have to do is just plow through it, no problem. This one, holy shit, it's so different. It's a completely different game. So for those of you who uh, gave up on Dark Souls 2, maybe it's time you guys come back because I think these three DLCs might make the game a lot better than it originally is. I'm not saying that the vanilla is bad, because by no means, I, I think the vanilla is good. They improved the PvP style and you know that means a lot. But this game just t takes it up. This DLC just took it up another notch. So now enough praising about this game. Uh, let's talk about something else. So recently, you know, this channel has been mostly about Dark Souls PvP, and I'm not getting a lot of views, but most of my views do come from the PvP games that I put up, and they're fun and all, but. You know, this game is getting a little stale if I just play PvP. So the the only gameplay that I'm gonna put out for a little while is gonna be just Dark Souls playthrough. I know people are okay with that, and I'll continue to make Dark Souls PvP after I finish everything in here. But for now, I'm gonna. I'm busy with other things and an old boss came up to me and wanted me to do some side project with him. Well, first of all, he still owes me money from like before. He owes me like $3,000 and he said he'll get that money for me from, from the client, from his client. And once he gets that, you know, I'll start working for him and that's basically all my time so I might be uh, not able to do much of a uh, I won't be able to do much with Dark Souls or videos or anything for a little while but I'll be back for sure I'll be back you know, I got it I gotta make the money where it's at first you know like if there's people paying you for a job for a side job then you should do that first hobbies and stuff should be second especially when you're getting to life like you know once you're like 30 years old or you got a family to take care of well I don't have a family yet I will have one in a couple months as soon as I marry my fiance and yeah you know Money is very crucial. Unfortunately, you know, you 
like I'm not like super popular on YouTube not yet hopefully <laughs> I will but I don't see that happening in the f short future so here I screwed up and I put on something a little too heavy and I'm like I realized oh shit oh shit oh shit and I just ran back so I realized like I don't I can't really equip this weapon but I'm just trying it anyways because I don't give a shit <sighs> sorry for that yawn it's kind of late here where I am right now uh, I'm gonna pause the video here but I'll be back with the next part